you don't have to like stand right beside him for it to not. nation go through unrest, as for police reform, as for social justice, what we're witnessing right now is institutional racism at its finest. When the mayor, when the, the chief of police, when the, the MPA, when the deputy district uh, city attorney can all collaborate and try to silence an individual for speaking up and speaking out to the wrongs that have been going on in this city is, is when we need to take notice. The commission was established in 1885 by the state law and one of the oldest police oversight agencies in the nation. The commission was originally created to remove the fire and police services from the influence of politics. Until that time, in Milwaukee, as in most cities, chiefs of both departments were appointed by the mayor who used the appointees and the appointment of the officers as a form of political patronage. The new law made the Fire and Police Commission responsible for setting employment standards, testing candidates for positions in the Fire and Police Departments, and appointing both chiefs. In 1911, the commissioner's authority was expanded to include all aspects of operational oversight. The directives that the Fire and Police Commissioner asked this chief to do, to present, is only the third time since 1911 that the Fire and Police Commission has directed a city chief to bring forth information about the daily operations. They are well within their authority to expect this and demand this. And if Chief Morales doesn't understand this, it's time for Chief Morales to go. Yeah. Thank you everyone for coming out today. I prepared a brief statement to try to address some of the many issues that have been floating around in the media lately. Nine months ago, an attack on systematic reform was put in play. A button was pushed, a lever was pulled, and the mechanism was put in motion. For nine months, I have watched a false narrative spin out of control about the motivation of myself and the Fire and Police Commission as we have called for greater accountability from the police department. Earlier today, I revealed, I revealed just a few facts around the decisions, discussions, and meetings that have led us to this point. But this is not about me. It's never been. It's not even about Chief Morales, although he's involved and he's affected. This is about reform, accountability, and leadership. I heard the Chief say earlier that we are living in strange times, and I agree. 2020 has been strange, but times are also changing, and change must come and will come to the city of Milwaukee. So now that you know the truth, I'm asking all the citizens of this great city to stand up and hold your leadership and institutions accountable. The people deserve to know that there is a video where a police officer is pistol whipping a citizen during a traffic stop. I do not know if there is a video, but it is my job to ask the question and investigate further. The people also deserve to know and have a say about how they will be policed. Anyone who has a problem with that needs to step aside. I want to thank Brother Fred Royal and the NAACP 
I want to thank Von Mays and Khalil Coleman and their teams who are putting in the work every day to in the community. I want to thank the Common Council for their support. I want to thank my executive director, Griselda Andretti, for her tireless work uh, as we go forward to push change and reform, as well as her predecessors, Mary Nell Regan, uh, Clifton Crump, and Lakeisha Butler. And I also want to thank, my, lastly but not least, my fellow commissioners. Thank you. I want to pass, uh, pass it on to Brother Von Mays now. So just on behalf of a number of the residents of this city, um, a number of the people affected by the many incidents we've had when it comes to community police relations or the lack thereof of progressive, um, positive community police relations, um, I, we just want to continue to express to the council, uh, to the mayor, um, to the governor, um, and to just whoever uh, you know, can listen to what the people want. When Chief Morales was up for reappointment, he did not care about what the black community had to say. He did not, uh, you know, him and his support did not care to uh, hold that decision to address what the black community in particular um, had as far as issues in these cases that we still have no answers on. Um, so no amount of pizzas being given out <laughs> uh, no amount of walks, all of a sudden, conversations to be had can make up for what you have not done as a chief. There have been many failures as a chief that have happened under his watch. You can't blame it all on him. Um, and as a leader, to use your position to try to silence and to try to suppress and oppress and attack different leaders of this community, including myself, that is very dangerous. And we cannot allow someone who is uh, so sensitive to critique, um, who was so petty in his actions as a leader. Um, he promised, he gave his word that he would hold people accountable if they need be. He told us numerous times um, that he would hold his officers accountable, that he would change the department and take it into a new direction. And he has had enough time to do that. He has continued to show that he will not do that. That he will continue to stand with the blue line instead of with the community. And so myself um, and a number of people, which you saw in the last um, protest, during the last um, FPC meeting that was held, and that you will see tonight, regardless of if he meets these directors or not, we do not have any confidence in him as our chief. As the chief of this entire city, mm -hmm. not just the chief of certain parts of this city, not just the chief of his department and his peers as other officers. He has no confidence in this community. And again, he can give out all the pieces he wants. His slice is up today. <laughs> we don't have pieces outside of the FPC meeting tonight, and hopefully we'll be throwing a, throwing his firing part. Say that. Say that. So uh, again, we stand behind Mr. DeVogus, the information that he's put out, the stance that he has taken at expense to himself and possibly his seat, his position today. In the years that I went to FPC meetings, we have been very much so disappointed in a lot of um, what, have, what has happened uh, and what has have been allowed to happen uh, throughout the years. But in the last year or so, we have seen people take stances. We have seen people be, have a balance. We have seen people try to adhere and, um, and listen to what the community wants and not be pressured by the department, not be pressured by the union, the police union. Um, and, and things still need to be held accountable. We are not satisfied with what came from that leak. We, we cannot be satisfied with no one getting in trouble for that. We cannot be satisfied with, you know, information that people are being pistol with in police incidents. That video has to come forward. We want that video to come forward. What happened to me? They still, I have not been charged. We, I still don't have my property. They took three falls from me illegally. That's unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And if he's want to allow that type of behavior to occur under his watch, that he needs to go. He needs to go! And the people, go. the people need to have input on who our next chief is the going people. to be. Yeah. The people! Because the people. our chief should be for the community in general. He should be a, a person who has value. He should be a person who is thick-skinned and will take the position and take everything that comes with it. And if Chief Morales is not that person, which, we, which he continues to prove yeah. that he is not, he needs to go. He needs, he needs to, to go. go. He needs to go. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Here, I'm going to share a few words for you all this afternoon because um, because I believe accountability is important. My name is Ashanti Hamilton, and I'm the alderman for the first alderman in district. And I've known Steve DeVogus since he was a law student at Marquette. And spoke with him then about the commitment to the community and the willingness for people like him to stay in Milwaukee and serve. And he decided to do that. One of the challenges in serving, especially when times change is not welcome. And most of us take these positions because we say we want to do the right thing. We should not be running a police department or a city where people should have to protest for their basic human rights. Right. right. And we have to believe that people are not doing this because they have nothing else better to do. But we have spoken with so many people across this city about what was needed in order to implement change. There was commitment to making those changes. And he's simply asking, the Fire and Police Commission is simply asking, for a measuring stick to make sure that the things that people are demanding across this country and the ones that we admire right here in the city of Milwaukee have been demanding for most of our lives. But we, we've reached a turning point right now. We've reached the point where people have gotten fed up with being fed lip service with people making promises and then not keeping them. And when yep, there is no tolerance, there is no tolerance for continuing to move in the wrong direction. So we need immediate change. We stand by the cause of the Fire and Police Commission to hold people accountable for those changes. That's right. And we're gonna use everything that we have in our power to make sure that all power remains with the people. That's right. Yeah. People. people. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Brown, advocate for Justice Wisconsin. I'm standing here on behalf of the Joel Acevedo family and the community as a mother that has been to all the visuals, as a mother that has to stand with other mothers who have been violated due to the system. We stand in a consolidarity with the FPC because the bottom line is, where is the transparency? We have to understand that if Chief Morellis, who claim to be for all people, why so many people suffer? From the beginning, we fought and we spoke out about him not being the chief of police. As the people, we did not choose him. Had he, not, had he went to the proper channels, had the protocol been followed in the beginning, we wouldn't be here. But also we have to understand that the problem in the city of Milwaukee is transparency from those who call themselves leading us. Us as the people, we have been failed time and time again. Policing, we don't trust because there haven't been any transparency and we have not seen any responsibility being taken by Chief Morales and those that he consider to be their boss. Morales have several times came out to the news and belittled or talked down on the activists in this city that has also been out here every day without pay, without health insurance. They're going in difficult situations with no guns. How can they do it with no guns and never get credit? But Chief Morales can cry and make it seem like we're against him. No, you have been against us. And now we stand here to hold you accountable because as the people, that's our job. We didn't have a say to put you in that seat. But now that you're there, you owe us 
answers. Answers that you've seen that you can't give us. Because one thing we have to understand, everything that the FPC asked him to do should have been in his job description anyway. We shouldn't have mm -hmm. to ask you twice. If we stand here in front of all of these youth who have showed us how to come together and how to stand for something and believe in something. If Chief Morellis continued to allow himself to go rogue and take citizens falsely and imprison them on his call, on his watch, if we can't hold him accountable, who can? Mm. Who do you protect? Who do you serve? Today we stand here in solidarity again and we're, we're not only asking for transparency, we ask for justice. Yeah. Because if he was the captain of any ship and it was sinking, he's supposed to go down first. Right. Mm. Our city has failed. You took that seat. You signed up to be the chief and you knew how Milwaukee was before Chief Flynn. You signed up for that. We didn't force you. You chose to sign up for that. But we didn't choose you. So as the people, I stand here for the Joel Acevedo family. I stand here for the city of Milwaukee, of the voices that are so unheard in the inner city of Milwaukee, the place that is over police, and we are suffering the most. So we pay you. We didn't put you in that seat, but we will see that you're fighting. Say that. Say that. Say that. Say that. Chairman, Chairman, can I ask you, will the chief be the motor fire tonight? Y'all willing fire? Fire! Right, right, go! At 4 30, we have a meeting, and that's up to me and my fellow commissioners, so we have to discuss that in our Fire! 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 You said there's been a false narrative about your motivation. What is your motivation? Um, I've laid out my motivation in countless times before you guys and just in my career. My motivation is for the good of the city and the good of the citizens of Milwaukee. My motivation is to do the work, the important work that needs to be done in Milwaukee. For the first time in my 37 years of being a resident of Milwaukee, we've never had this level of access or engagement that I've seen uh, to affect this kind of change. This is our moment to do so right now, and I plan on capitalizing on that as much as possible to break that change and make the city better for everybody. The motion or firing this evening. Fire! Fire! Fire. Uh, Fire. I would gotta go. go. You know what? Based on what my discussions are with the other commissioners, um, I'm just going to play my part and do what, do the right thing. Like Fire! So whatever the will of the people are, that's what. Fire! Fire! I think the chair has spoken already. The chair has already made it clear that he won directives from the chief, you know, whether or not if these directives are sufficient enough uh, for the FPC, all of that will be determined today. Uh, we understand that uh, there's a big concern in the city of Milwaukee. We want to continue to keep uh, the issues uh, present in the forefront and holding police officers accountable that break the law and that fail to serve and protect the interests of the community. Commissioner, can Any you other talk, questions? Can you talk about Chief the police? Chief has lost confidence in his community. He needs to go. Commissioner, the we cannot support anyone that we do not have confidence in. The police I'm department sure. is saying yeah. that the directives were not done legally. Can you talk about what opinions you got from the city oh. attorney and and if you're concerned at all about the legality of that? Thank you. That's a, that's one question I will answer straight away. <laughs> all right. So the thing about this is this: all the directives were vetted through the city city attorney's office. They signed off on them. Um, if you have any, any questions about the legality, it should be directed to Attorney Spencer, uh, who's the city attorney. Um, I feel comfortable that they are within the statutory realm and bounds of our authority, and that we're not asking for nothing that was out of the way. And all the most of the requests have been based on previous requests that have been outstanding for the, at least the last 18 months. The police department I, saying the city attorney basic. asked for an extension to review them further, but the FPC didn't want to give that extension. Can you talk about that? Um, the, I think that's disingenuous only because um, I saw an interview where um, the chief said he already had this stuff and that he provided it to us already. So if he already gave it to us, then there's no need to have an extension. But, but yeah, did, did the city attorney ask you guys for an extension? I think, no. I think the chair has made a statement if, 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 if Anything else need to be answered, everything else will be presented in the meeting tonight. 
at the FPC meeting. Thank you. Thank you all for showing up. Fire! 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 Fire Chief Morales! 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 Morales. 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 Hold up, though. Hold on, hold up. Alright, so um, I'm gonna have to end this real quick. We're gonna switch, switch it over to City Hall. If you can calm down, then come down. Cause we about to have a party. Make sure listen, make it rain piece around this motorcycle. Okay? So uh I'll see y'all over there. Um I'm gonna go live from over here. Peace.